Hi, I'm Richard, and we've got another stick review for you today at Hockey Tutorial. And the question is, what is the best stick for under $100? So as you know from all our previous videos, we've been looking at the very top end of the market. This time, it sticks for under $100. Let's see what's available. Today, we've got five sticks for you that we think are worth looking at at this price point. They're the Winwell Q5, the Warrior QRL5, the CCM 45K, the True A2.2, and All Black, who create one stick specifically for this price point. So a little bit of extra information about All Black Hockey, their company slogan is make hockey affordable again, and they're literally one aim, make one high-end hockey stick at that price point. Rather than just reel off all the stick specs to you and go through them one after another, I've identified four things that I think were important for all the sticks at this price point, and we're gonna analyze those in each type. They are flex, weight, blade, and puck feel. These four aspects were what I personally felt to find a good stick from a bad stick at this price point. So right before filming this, we weighed all these five sticks on our scale here at Hockey Tutorial. The heaviest stick was the Winwell Q5. This was followed by the CCM 45K. The middle stick was the Warrior QRL5. And then lighter than all the others were the True, and then lightest of all, the All Black. So next on the list of important features for me was the flex of these sticks. These sticks do not feel the same. I was looking for something that at least emulated a high-end stick. Uh, some of these sticks didn't manage that for me. Uh, the True stood out as being really consistent, really good pop when shooting, felt great receiving passes, just consistent, solid flex. With the Warrior, we couldn't get my usual flex profile, which is an 85 or a 75, so I've been using 100. Still had a good idea for the feel of the stick. The flex was pretty consistent. Obviously, I'm a light guy and I don't really have the weight for that flex profile, but it still had a bit of kick in it. it just takes a lot of effort for a guy like me to get any power. So as well as being the heaviest, the Winwell impressed me least with its flex. It didn't have a lot of pop. It felt like it was way behind after I was shooting. I just didn't really enjoy using it. I didn't get on with it. I found it harder to generate power. Occasionally it would surprise me, but most of the time it wasn't for me. The CCM 45K was a really good stick in this aspect. The kick was consistent, had good pop on shots, it had good feel. This stick never felt like it was letting me down on shooting. Maybe it didn't have quite the top end feel that I got from the True, which was honestly remarkable, but it was still a very solid stick. For the All Black, the flex was probably my least favorite aspect of the stick. It wasn't as consistent as I would like. It felt great occasionally, it just didn't always have that consistency. Uh, this is probably the one place where it fell a little bit behind the true. Having said that, the All Black has plenty of redeeming features that make this only a minor issue. So the next aspect for me was blades. I was surprised just how different blades felt at this price point. The outstanding blades for me in this area were the All Black and the True. They felt great, they were consistent, they did their job really well. To be honest, I wasn't expecting that much from blades at this price point, but even the three other sticks have all performed admirably. I was very impressed. It's just the All Black and the True had that little step above everybody else and they've really reacted very, very well. So most important for me was feel. The overall feel of these sticks, how did I get on with them? Did I like them? So the stick I got on with the least was the Winwell. It felt heavy, it felt quite cumbersome. The puck feel wasn't as good as the others, just flat out didn't have that same competitive edge. That was my least favorite. Next for me was the Warrior QRL5. It's difficult for me to really review this one. It was just very average. I didn't have any redeeming features that made me really enjoy using the stick. It was the only 100 flex and that gave me great passing, and great stick handling, and great puck feel, but that was in part due to the flex and not due to the behavior of the stick. So overall, that's my fourth favorite. So third place for me was the CCM 45K. If the other two hadn't been remarkably good at the price point, this would have been right up there. A great stick, really good for the price point, solid quality product. Okay, so we're up to one and two, all black versus true. And for me, the lighter stick didn't win out here. The all black is a great product. It's really, really light, really light. We're talking, it's up there with the high end sticks. The blade is really thin and really precise, which also feels really good. The only place for me that it was lacking was the consistency of the flex profile. And that sort of takes away from just how good that blade is and just how light that stick is. I just didn't have that consistency that I had with the True. So if the True prices you out at $99, then the All Black being right up there in performance is the absolute best stick you're gonna get for $89. Okay, so number one, the True A2.2 remarkably good for the price point. And I mean, I've used the A6.0 for a long time. I've not used any middling products between them. The 2.2 is the bottom of the line. The A6.0 is the top of the line. The difference is not as marked, not even close to as marked as I was anticipating. The pop on this stick is 
as good as pop on top end sticks from three years ago. It's a phenomenal product. The All Black loses out ever so slightly just because Every other part of that stick was great, but the flex profile just isn't as consistent as the true. They're very similar in their other aspects, but the puck feel combined with that pop for the A2.2 is just remarkable for the price. And I mean it, it is light years ahead of what I was expecting. The All Black is right up there with the true and very, very close. So it is important to mention that the All Black does cost less than the true. So the real takeaway from this video is don't overspend. Don't get tunnel vision for $250 sticks. I've been lucky enough to use elite quality sticks for a very long time and I wasn't looking forward to stepping down. But the A2.2 and the All Black have been with me for a little while now. I play recreationally, they do a job. I was really, really surprised by how well all these sticks perform for the price point. So the moral of the story is don't feel like you have to buy top end NHL level sticks. These things do a great job use them. This video was a little different to how we normally do stick reviews. Let us know down below if this is more the type of content that you want to be seeing. Don't forget to watch these videos over here and definitely don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much for stopping by and we will see you next time.